The following is a behind the scenes look at the new short film The Precipice, written by Rohan Vechlicker and directed by Sean Narona. Coming soon. Prepare for us to be pretentious. Oh, I'm Rohan. I wrote the script. <clears throat> My name is Sean Narona, and I am going to be the director of The Precipice. Okay, they're short as an adjective and they're short as a noun. So, a short short, like a short skit, one scene, two scenes, about something immoral that's presented in a very upbeat and carefree way. Um, well, it was a very simple story, which I wasn't sure about at first, but um, once I read through the script, I saw a lot of potential in it. It was written in this masterful, very interesting way, um, with the, the dialogue was very gripping. Uh, the choice is between whether or not he cares enough about the girl he's with to have a fling with another girl. I, I do write screenplays, uh, and I love directing, uh, and I love editing. So sometimes I am the writer and director, and this time is one of the few cases in which I found a script that I fell in love with, and I can only work on things that I fall in love with. It's about a girl who tries to seduce her sister, his boyfriend. It was definitely a, a story that I wanted to be part of telling, and I can't wait to see what we can do with it. It's a pretty. It's not. It's not an original conflict. You know. It's. It's. A, it's. A, it's like a love triangle. Is somebody burning? Something? You see the smoke? No. It's a. Uh... Is it a barbecue? No. I think it's. Oh, yeah, oh, it's can a, I stand on this? It's oh. People I have in mind that I've talked to about this project so far are very talented. I want it to be kind of a... I, I want it to be seeped in a kind of fun immorality. You have to pay attention to both. Um, some people will focus one on more or the other. What I try to do is to steer the performance while capturing the most beautiful image I can and to make sure that that image is telling <coughs> the same story that the actors are telling. Sean Narona. Now, I love to work with him. You know, like, I, like, a, like, a, like, a, like, a, like a Steven Spielberg, John Logan kind of thing. You know, like writing for him. A lot of the time, I'm involved with various aspects of the filmmaking. And so I'll, sometimes I am the writer, and at the same time, after all the production's over, I'm editing the final piece. I think that his knowledge is probably more powerful than my instinct. I feel like I do have an instinct in a way, but I would trust his experience more because I think we both have the same body of knowledge except that he knows what he's thinking and I just remember something else I saw in another movie that I want to replicate. A lot of the time I find myself thinking about how it's going to be edited while I'm writing. So what ends up happening is that you just have a bunch of calamari that you can't dip, but you still just can't let it all go to waste. So what am I supposed to do? When I'm editing, I am either looking right at the script to see what I have in mind, and other times I find myself completely disregarding the script and working with what I have and um, just going on pure instinct. So sometimes I think that it's just it's your decision as an editor, and I guess it's your decision as a writer of whether you want to focus solely on that particular part of it, or to work with the person that you know is going to do the edit, or is writing, and kind of accommodate them, or to compromise so that the final vision is what both of you are thinking. And sometimes that's just an internal struggle when you're with people. It's like, I, I, I want to keep on, I want to keep on collaborating. Uh, he was a friend of my chemistry lab partner. So I mentioned to my lab partner that uh, I wrote a script. And he's like, I have a friend who's a filmmaker. I'm like, no you don't. He's like, yeah I do. And I said, but that's just too convenient. But the world doesn't work that way, but it, it, it did. We're shooting this film on the Black Magic Pocket Cinema camera. I, I just really like the look 
that black magics give, and I think that what, for what I have in mind for this story, that it's gonna give it a very sensitive, soft feel. Um, and I'm hoping to kind of like push the visuals on this, uh, especially because the script is so dialogue heavy. Uh, I'm hoping to focus a lot on the lighting and on the camera shots. Uh, I want every single shot to be beautiful. And I think that we're going to be able to get that out of this camera. What was the question? I met this uh, cinematographer by the name of uh, Julian Hong, who is fantastic. And he's going to give a very interesting look to this film that I can't wait to see.